One of the biggest mistakes that people do in negotiations is sometimes it ends up costing them a lot is they negotiate with the person that does not sign the check and they end up negotiating two and three times. So wasting time, wasting money because at every single point they have to give more, give more, give more. And has that ever happened to you? Well, how to overcome that? I'll share that with you in just a moment. Uh, hi, my name is Ramis Halu. I'm the uh, keynote speaker and founder of the Sales Engine, where I simply speak at events and conferences to inspire, educate, and motivate sales teams to sell more, sell faster, and profitably. So um, it's, it's a burning question, you know? So what, what should you do? Well, find out who signs the check and make sure that they're involved. So the way to do that, because sometimes you don't know, you simply gotta ask the person you're dealing with. If, you, if I go ahead and give you the, the best deal out there, well, what are the steps needed to go ahead and implement this proposal? Uh, then they might say, well, I go ahead and sign you the check. You know that, you know, I'll give my okay to this person so they can move forward. Or they might say, you know, I have to speak with that person and that person's got to check with the other person and the other person so they'll describe for you an entire decision-making process. So it's a warning, it's a flag to say, hey, make sure that you're not ready yet to negotiate unless you get to meet the other individuals to ensure that the, the, the stakeholders are aware of what what you do and what value you bring as opposed to just the price because everybody's gonna want a piece of that of that pie. Sounds simple, right? Well, um, even it happens to the best of us where I, I, it's sometimes easy to understand but hard to do. I was once negotiating, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a confession. A few years ago I was in a sales um, negotiation with a, with a client, a good client of mine and uh, became a good client but in the beginning I, I didn't know. Uh, I, I thought I was negotiating with the person that signs the check, but sure enough, when I got to that part, she said, well, I, we got to talk with this other person. Now, it was completely out of the scope of sales and the marketing department, but that was a person that owned part of that business and, need, and was involved, which I didn't know about. So sure enough, of course, I accept the meeting. She accepted to meet me and she asked for more. And, and of course, I had given more than it made the other person look that she did not do their job right. So I was kind enough to let her know that, you know, of course I had done the best, this has been the, 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 the best deal, so really building value. But at the end, there's that one thing that you can do, that I did, is I gave her a small thing. And in return, I asked for closure. I said, look, if we go ahead and give you this one thing that you're looking for, I, I really can do. But this one thing, I'm able to do that just as a, as a sign of good faith. If we go ahead and get the proposal signed today, so we can proceed. She said yes, because of course we know that when someone is negotiating with you, they're interested in what you have to offer and, and we were able to, uh, to move forward and we had a, a relationship for many, many more years to come. So this has been a very simple idea uh, and it's, it's part of what I teach at various events, especially one event called the Sales and Negotiation Bootcamp. So be on the lookout if this is something that you'd like to learn more of, get to practice uh, what to say, what to do, how to do it. Uh, be on the lookout to see if this is something you can invite people to, let people know about and, and make it happen. If you enjoyed the tip, share it. And until soon, sell more, sell faster and profitably.